So this question is minimum falling path sound. So given an unbiometry, return the minimum sound of any falling path through metric. So this question is pretty straightforward. If you do understand, I right, um two one five uh two one three right when you fall on the next level right, which is the second uh second rule right. Uh five will just uh come with one, and I mean you just have to find out the minimum on your neighbor. So. When when I say neighbor, uh, uh, it's actually belong to this, uh, uh, belong belong to this constraint. The problem is when j equal to zero, your neighbor is actually, uh, the one on the top or the one on the top right, right? So when j equal to the last, uh, last column, right? Uh, the j, I mean the neighbor will be three and one. So when when j equal to one. In this case, right, your neighbor is two, one, three, and you want to find out the minimum number in this, um, in this neighbor, and then you add. So the return value is thirteen. This is because one plus five plus seven, which is conclude to thirteen, right? One plus four plus eight is also thirteen. So let's talk about how I did it. I'm using the DP array, uh, DP double array, to be honest. So, uh, I will just traverse the metric and update. My current value, and I mean update my DP value according to my metric uh uh value, right? So I'm gonna say in DP in equal to new int and metric length and then metric and length. So this is rule. This is fun. Uh, which means uh they are actually the same. You can actually just initialize to uh to n. I can actually just replace my row and column to end. Alright, so for the first row, right? For the first row, this will be the same no matter what, right? So let's say I put plus and dp at first row at, at any column. First row, any column, that will be metric at first row at any column, right? So I will initialize my DP first row to the metric first row. Then I can traverse. So I'm going to traverse. I can traverse from the first row, which is index one. I mean second row. Okay, and index one. Uh, you know what I mean, right? And this and then I plus plus. And then for the color, you need to start from zero, right? It plus plus. So this is the function when j equal to zero. Uh, you need to just think about what you should grab from your neighbor and also when j equal to what and minus one which is the last column and also what also is not is neither j equal to zero nor j equal to n minus one which is in the middle right uh, you can grab your top left uh top right and also on the top right so this will be pretty much it so the thing about how I did uh, the most easy one, right? D P A I A J. This will be so if I want to grab this column, I mean this cells, right? It's going to be what? Um P uh, what A I minus one and J minus one, right? And you need to grab the minimum one, right? So it's gonna be math on me. Okay. And comma and then also what if I want to compare it be just i minus one and j so I already compare the current value okay and it's my mark right here so I need to compare to the other one so copy paste and it's gonna be dpi minus dpi and j for my current value and also what also this cells right imagine these cells right uh i minus one still i minus one but j plus one in this case right so this will be the middle value i mean not the first column not the last column but the column between these two columns right so this will be the easy and also this one this one is definitely the easy one so p i and j and this will become what mass of mean. So it's either the top or your top right, right? So this will be DPI minus one. 
sin j, okay? sin, sin column, right? So dp, i minus 1, j plus 1. So j plus 1 is equal to the top right. And pretty much similar, and it's interesting about how I did it on the last, the last column. So it's going to be dp, i minus 1, and then j, sin column. And then dp i minus one j minus one on the top left for the uh, for the last column, right? And everything else, right? Uh, when you drop your previous row, right? You need to also add your current data. So dp i a j will plus equal to matrix a i and j. Alright. So without too much um. Uh, problem you will you will get the final solution on your dp and so when you want to traverse right you need to traverse um the last column i mean the last row only and the integer could, could be negative right so look at this the negative could be negative so when you want to grab the last column uh when you want to return a value you cannot just say uh return i mean initialize the variable to zero you can actually say integer uh, mean value and you, later on you return the result so you need to traverse the last column so nouns and dp m minus one this this will give you what dp m minus one will give you the last row and you will have to traverse every single column in the num right so result equal to net that means results and nouns so since it's minimal, right? So this will be maximum value. Uh, apologize, I apologize for uh, typing this one, but you need to grab the minimum value, right? This is will be this will be the minimum sum, right? So you need to initialize your integer. The result will be be maximum value, and then get the minimum value from this last rule, different column, right? So let's just run it, and should be no problem, right? So here we go. So let's talk about what talk about time and space complexity. And for time, all of n square, right? This should be easy, n square. And then for the space, this is n square, right? And this will be pretty much the solution. If you have any question, leave a comment below, subscribe if you want it, and I will see you next time. Bye.